So for number 3 here, the point zero 02 is the midpoint of a chord of this circle. Find the equation of that chord. Now you can answer this without drawing a diagram, but I think I will just draw a diagram over here. So there's a chord in a circle. It says the midpoint, I'll just have to put it out here, was the point zero 02. Then the centre of the circle, you can extract immediately from this because it's not been greatly disguised by multiplying out those original brackets x minus a squared, y minus b squared. That'll simply be twice the product, so that's minus 2a. So the centre of that would have been negative 5 and negative 3. So that's the point negative 5, negative 3. Then, if that's the midpoint of the chord, that means the radius, if it hits the midpoint, must hit it at right angles, in which case you can get the gradient of the line from the gradient of that radius. I'll just put it over here. So what's the gradient of the radius? What will be the difference in the y coordinates over the difference in the x coordinates? 2 take away negative 3. For the difference in the y coordinates, 0 take away negative 5. For the difference in the x coordinates, being the distance along, that's positive 5 over positive 5, which means the gradient of the radius is going to be 1. Straight away you know the gradient of the chord. The gradient of the chord is going to be negative 1, so they multiply to give negative 1. Then the last part will simply be, what's the equation of the chord? Now, this is a specific line in this case because I know where it cuts the y-axis. I don't need to apply that general point y minus b equals mx minus a because I know where it cuts the y-axis, so I can write down straight away y equals mx plus c. It's got a gradient of negative 1, so that's negative x. It cuts the y-axis at 2, so y equals negative x plus 2 straight away.